everybody, Lewis here, R Shack Barbecue and other things. Uh, today, we'll start out with a uh, Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Cheers, everybody. Uh, well, uh, for this cook, I uh, took two items from two different YouTube channels uh, that I follow and I enjoy very much. Um, I will, uh, of course, add a description and a link down in the uh, description or about box um, since I don't think I can do iCards anymore. Thank you, uh, YouTube. Uh, anyway, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is a rice recipe that I got from Phil in Florence's wife, Janet. She did this and I went, oh my, that looks really good. So I'm gonna do that first and then uh, after that, I'm going to be doing a chicken recipe that uh, Outdoor Cooking with Al did here recently. Um, it's a gravy uh, noodle mix. Um, I'm not going to do the noodles. That is why I'm doing the rice. Uh, I'll probably put the chicken on the rice and see how that goes. Uh, I'm not a big noodle fan, but I do like pasta, but uh, just, uh, you know, noodles by themselves and stuff, not my thing. So anyhow, uh, once again, cheers, and let's get into this cook. Regulators. You regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good, too. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steal, if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. Regulators! Mount up. Okay, here we have all the uh, ingredients in Janet's uh, brown rice recipe. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, it smells terrific just like this. Um, so I will have all the ingredients down in the uh, description box and a link to, of course, the video. Um, now she put it in the oven at 350 degrees uh, for a half hour, took it out, stirred it, and then cooked it for, uh, I'm sorry, put uh, foil over it and cooked it for another half hour. So an hour cook time. I'm going to basically do it just like that, except I'm going to do it on the grill, uh, on the Weber kettle, uh, on indirect heat, and uh, let it go for a half hour, stir it up, put boil over it, and let it go for another half. The grill half. is up to about 300. I'm going to go ahead and get the rice going here on it. Take it. We will just set it right in here. We'll let it go. Come back and check it in a little over a half hour. Okay, we're going to use our uh, newest member to our grilling family, the Jumbo Joe. So, as you can see, just got the lid there. Got the coals over here heating up. I'm going to dump some down in there. This. Hopefully, we can do this. Got a few coals here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the trivet, you can see here, get it down in there, put some coals around on it like so. Alright, and then we're gonna take a skillet. Skillet. And set it on top of it. So what we want to do is we've got butter here. About two tablespoons of butter. We're going to just lay that there. And then uh, got some avocado oil. Pour that in here. About two tablespoons as well. And we'll let all that come up to heat here. Then we'll put our chicken on. Okay. Time to put the chicken on. I'm 
all in here so they play nice. Let's add a little bit of red pepper on top of it. Get a little bit of a heat. And then we're going to come in with lemons. Lemons on there. Mm. Get everybody in the pool here. Okay, I see that the camera moved. So let's take a look at what this looks like with the lemons and sizzling. Mmm. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Okay, our rice has been on here for a little over a half hour. Uh, the grill's been running about 375. Take it out. And we will stir it up first here. Get it all stirred up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it and we're going to let it go for another half hour, 45 minutes. So let's take it out of here. Now I will tell you, I went and bought this uh, glass Pyrex uh, today at the local thrift store. I'm not I'm smart enough not to go use one of my wife's good ones. So because I know they discolor. Um, and I'm really hoping that the fact that I'm doing indirect it's not going to cause any problems. I'm actually gonna double up on the foil here. So, it's pretty warm so my little glove on. Tucked in there. Mm, this is smelling so good right now. Alrighty. So let's get it back on the grill and let her go. I'm actually going to spin it too. That's just something I like to do. A little leakage. Alrighty. Okay, let's just have a quick look at our chicken. Now he's doing. He's going up there, coming along. Um, so notice that I'm also doing here with this performer. Um, on this grate, I just have a little bed of coals going. And I'll add every now and then so that I have extra coals to put on this if I need them. So we'll continue on with the cook. Okay, let's see how our chicken's doing here. That is done. So what we're going to do is we are going to wrap them up in foil. And, uh, let them kind of just sit there and cook for a little bit longer. Get all this in here. Put the lemons on there. We have them lightly wrapped up, that out of the way, and we're just going to set it on our other grill here, just to kind of keep them warm. Take the chicken like this, set it in there, and let it just stay warm. Let's start working on our gravy. So now we're going to melt a uh, two tablespoons of butter, and to that we'll add the rest of the avocado oil. We'll get this uh, skillet back oiled up. To that we're going to add our capers, garlic, lemon juice, and uh, cooking wine uh, in there. Get that all stirred up. Then the last ingredient we're going to be adding is the flour, which is flour, salt, and pepper. Uh, which we use to coat the chicken breast um, at the very beginning. That's the remainder of the coating. And we'll just stir it around until we have a nice consistent gravy here. Boy, these smells, I gotta tell you, 
unbelievable aroma coming off these grills right now. Okay, let's take a look at our rice. Take it out of here. Let's do a little quick peek of it. Take it in the house. Mmm. Man, those smells. Oh. Mmm. Smells so good. Alright. Take it in the house and plate it up. Okay, here we have the plate of the brown rice. And then we have the chicken with the gravy on top of it. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Uh, Slice into this chicken. You see, it's beautifully cooked all the way through. Just has a bite here. There you go. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Chicken is awesome. Mm. The gravy has that garlicky lemon flavor to it. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Let's try the uh, rice. second bite. Mm. Those beef stock soups and that um, onion soup. Oh wow. That really adds a lot of flavor. Mm. Wow. Cheers.